Taboo! More than just a board game. There are things that a lot of people don't talk about. And today we will talk about them concerning gaming. First question, please. Have you ever had a character of yours lie or withhold information from the party? which led to the party getting in trouble. Hmm. Oh, well, let's see. There was a D&D game that I played a true neutral half-elf druid in. Uh, we had got into a fight in some, some sewers with uh, some werewolves. And I was the only person that rolled high enough to notice our fighter getting bit by a werewolf. Uh, some things came up, but I missed a few sessions. Now, when I finally made it back, uh, I got talked to by the storyteller. It's like, you know, this stuff came up and... Uh, uh, do you, do you remember anything that happened in the last session? I'm like, well, we were fighting those werewolves. It's like, you remember what you noticed? I'm like, the fighter got bit. He, he told somebody about that, right? Nope. He didn't tell anybody about it. So, he, he was kind of one to blame me for not telling anybody, even though he himself didn't tell anybody and when I'd come back to the session uh, we were all about to get lynched by this town unless we turned over our fighter that was actually a werewolf I am um, thinking back you know as that character was true neutral and our fighter wasn't the uh, I'll say he wasn't on the side of good all that often I just figured it he didn't tell people because he didn't care and he was just going toward the way of evil anyway. That's how I had my character think about it. So I mean yeah, I kinda got the party in trouble, but really I I don't think it was my responsibility to tell it was his. That's how I feel about that. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours steal from the party? Oh, no, no, I don't. I've never really played a character that would steal anything, really, let alone steal from the party. I mean, most games I've played, the party has been rather generous with, okay, hey, I don't have cash of my own, I need some armor, or I need this repaired, or oh, I, I like to get this and whatnot, and they're usually. You know, oh hey, here's some gold, go get it. Or, hey, we have this item here, it's yours. Have you ever had a character of yours refuse to help the party in a fight? No, that's... You know, I, I play some pretty wimpy characters, but there's always something you can do in a fight. You know, I understand that there may be you know, some kind of moral objections on the line for some fights and some parties, but I've never encountered it. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours fight with a party member? No, no. I, I've, I've gotten into verbal arguments with other party members, but not flat out fights. Uh, as a storyteller, I've had characters do mock fights just to see who knows how to use their powers better. I mean, this is just like, you know, okay, you versus you, this is nothing in game. And just, you know, use your powers on each other to see who would win, quote unquote. <clears throat> Have you ever killed a party member? And if so, was it accidental or on purpose? Now, uh, as a PC, I've never killed another party member. Uh, 
But as a storyteller, I have had to kill party members before. In particular, this one guy's characters. Uh, yeah, he was not too savvy in the ways of being a vampire. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours overindulge in alcohol and or drugs? <laughs> well, I would say no, but then I go and I remember Loopy, my schizo Malkavian from a Masquerade game. Uh, in one of the Chronicles she was in, she was a rock star, and yeah. Oh, drunken fanboys. Tasty. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours have sex? And was it consensual, if you have? <laughs> well, again, Loopy. Loopy loved to have sex. In fact, uh, she required the uh, Nymphomaniac arrangement at the time. And, uh... Yeah, I'll say by the middle of the Chronicle, she had pretty much seduced every member of the party. Even the female ones. And uh, many of the people we encountered on the way to... It was always consensual, though. She, she never forced herself upon anybody. Never had to use any powers to gain their favor. Loopy was like, you know, four dots and agreements and, you know, <laughs> hey. All right. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours torture someone or something? Hmm. Well, I'd have to say no. Uh, well. Eh. Oh, uh, Glenn. And Ivan kind of did. Uh, in each of the chronicles that they played in, like for example, Glenn, she, you know, high levels of intimidate, she, you know, threatened torture to this one prisoner, and he caved and gave her the information. And in another chronicle I played Ivan, uh, who was uh, good at uh, ventriloquism and. Um, you know, mocking sounds. Uh, he made, he, you know, the prisoner was blindfolded. He uh, made the sounds of other people getting tortured, and uh, that prisoner caved and gave the information. So, no real torture involved, just mental tricks. Next question Have you ever had a character of yours vandalize or destroy property? Well, no. Never had any vandal characters or, you know, destroyed property plenty, but that was always stuff that was supposed to be destroyed in game, you know, busting through doors trying to get places and all, but no, nothing just, oh, let's tear shit up. Alright. Next question. Have you ever had a character of yours do something extreme for? or against a god, goddess, or religion? Well, I would have to say no. I don't typically play characters that uh, give much cred to, you know, gods, goddesses, religions. Uh, just, I, I usually do, if my character is going to do anything extreme, it'd be for a party member, because... You know, when it comes down to it, it's the party members that are always there for you, not some invisible deity in the sky. So, that's, that's what I gotta say about that. Alright. And now for the bonus question. Oh, bonus question. Have you ever had a character of yours get pregnant or make another character pregnant? Don't oh, shoot. <laughs> Going back to Luffy again. Uh, now this this is entirely on the storyteller. Um, you know how I was saying that Loopy as a nympho, uh, she had also actually fell in love with one of the other party members, and him in love with her, which him in love with her I found first, by the way. And um, you know, being vampire, you can spend blood to make your 
body alive again temporarily. Uh, and both of our characters did that and had sex and ended up getting Loopy pregnant. And, you know, Storyteller made some rules. Probably didn't have to make them, had her mind made up anyway, but mind made up that Loopy got pregnant with a, I don't know, vampire baby. Unfortunately, I never got to finish out that chronicle. I had to stop playing uh, due to a conflict of interest, so Loopy never got to have her baby. So, I unfortunately don't know what would have happened. And that's it for the taboo questions. So, go out and do some taboo things. Give me some interesting answers and responses. And have a good day.